Self-driving vehicles, they're coming. They're coming to the world, they're coming to Europe. How is Europe getting ready for self-driving vehicles? Here in the European Parliament, let's check the state of play with Wim van de Kamp of the European, uh, European Parliament. You're also with the EPP group, of course. You are author of this report on self-driving vehicles. How ready is Europe for self-driving vehicles? First of all, we are on a good track. But China, United States, even South Korea is almost ahead of us. So next years, and we have to be in a hurry, we have to improve our cooperation between the member states, the companies who produce the cars, and the innovation institutes. What about interoperability? How is the EU going to facilitate that? This is one of the weaker items in the EU at this moment, that is whole 5G cooperation. We have different systems and up till now we didn't find a good uh, solution for how to get and to improve this connectivity the first five years. This is in the so-called CITS dossier, connectivity intelligent transport systems and there the European Commission has to do a lot of work. Now it's a matter also of setting standards internationally isn't it? Yes, that's another challenge that now we have the United Nations in Geneva, the so-called UNIS process, where they develop this world standard but that's too slow. If Europe is going to wait for the United Nations we are lost. We have to set the standards the upcoming years. Have you tried a self-driving car? Yes, I did. What do you think? <clears throat> to be honest, <laughs> um, and this is one of the challenges, do people rely on a self-driving car? That's an emotional step we have to take. And this emotional step I didn't take yet when I was in a, in a track for exercising. But you know, 10 years ago, nobody had an iPhone. A few years ago, nobody had an iPad. And now people can't live anymore without iPhone or iPad. And this development will be the same in the autonomous car.